Right guys, tonight we're going to talk about the Dash Cam Pro as seen on TV. Here's the box and um, I've heard a lot of bad reviews about this Dash Cam and uh, yeah, it's not the greatest but I didn't think it was that bad. Here's a couple of clips that I took with my camera. So I think a lot of the problem is people don't know how to use it and it took me a while to figure it out. So let's turn this on and we'll go through the menu settings on the dash cam pro. So now you can see as soon as you turn it on it starts recording. This button here will stop it. And now you've got, uh, you see it's in daylight mode. So at nighttime you want to press this button again and it's going to show you nighttime mode. Now these lights, you can't see them. You can see them now in the camera, but when you're just looking at it, you can't even tell they're on, but it's on nighttime mode. So to turn off the nighttime mode, press that button again and it goes back to the daylight. So let's go into the menu settings. So that's one thing I had that I, um, figured out took me a while to figure out let's go through the menu and do the settings okay size is the first one here now i hope you guys can see that is that better um so to change the size press this button and it gives you a choice of 720 or vga so I'm just going to press enter again and enter is the stop button up here. Now press up or down. Down is the timestamp. I want to keep that on. Go down again to motion detection. It's off. You want to press enter here. Press down and put that to on. Um, video time. So let's press enter. You have a choice of one minute, three minute, five minute, or off. Um, if you pre keep pressing down, there's even a 10 minute one. I think off means it just records constantly. But, to, but if you want to, you know, find your clip, it's going to record constantly, and then it's going to be harder to find where in the day you... Um, had the accident or whatever you need. But I'm gonna keep it on off for now. Maybe I'll try that out. Okay, press down again, video record. That's on, I wanna leave that on. Press down again, screen saver. Now this is the tricky one. Now I've got it off now. If you put it on one minute, what's gonna happen is when you start the car and the thing's plugged into the cigarette lighter, it's gonna record and then after one minute, the screen is going to black out and you're going to think that it's powered off, but it hasn't. It has still, it's still recording. It's just saving the screen. So I'm going to go to three minute screen saver. So that means when I turn on the car, it's going to start recording. It's going to be on, but the screen will black out after three minutes. And that's one of the big problems I had with this thing. I thought it was turning itself off, but it's actually a screensaver. So what other do they have? So let's go back to menu again, press menu again. You're going to get another um, list of um, things you can do. Language, English, auto off. Now this means once you've turned the car off, the camera goes off in one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or I'm going to leave it at one minute. So press enter again. 
system reset, just this resets everything to, to factory, and so on. So to exit the menu, just press menu again. Now we're in record, uh, we're in daytime mode and that's nighttime mode. See, you can see how it's really, see, daytime mode, it's black. Now you can see nighttime mode. Just remember to press this button to change the modes. It's recording. Press stop to stop recording here. Oh, it didn't stop. It just loops again. Okay. Well, that's something I didn't figure out. Maybe I got to press and hold it. There we go. Press and hold it and to stop it. Um, so there we go, folks.